Rams rookie offensive lineman Jason Smith said, hey, look, Rome wasn't built in a day. News for him, and in reference to what he's saying, neither were the Lions nor the Rams. Say how are you, folks. Jason Horowitz, NFL.com's hey. Pat Kerwin. <laughs> Glad to be with you here on the Whoa. NFL Preview Show presented by Tyson. Any Tizers and Pat, it's yes. the game that people pointed to in Detroit as maybe this would be the one that snapped their losing streak. They did it earlier in the season. They stopped it at 19. The Rams are at a 17-game losing streak right now, and if they don't win this one, the schedule gets really tough. They're going to get upwards above 20. Mm -hmm. So what's the key for St. Louis to beat in Detroit? It's the same key every week, and it's Steven Jackson, and they really don't have anything else to lean on. Now, I talked to Steve Spagnola about Steven. They're very happy with his running and his effort. Now they have more injuries in the offensive line. Incognito is going to be out. So that's going to become a harder thing to do. He's a terrific receiver. Go to Steven Jackson receiver. I asked Spags about that. He said, you know what? We will, but he's a tremendous decoy for us in the passing game. Whenever they try to release him with width, that's going to hold people. They're trying to get the ball behind Steven Jackson, but this is about Steven Jackson in 35 touches. Otherwise... 18 game losing streak. It's about Steven Jackson and the fact that he's third in the NFL in rushing, but he has not been able to put it in the end zone, and that's not a completely his fault. They don't necessarily always get it going when they're in the red zone. They've got a lot of turnovers right. inside the 10 yard line. Ask the Minnesota Vikings. Pat, you talk about this team and the fact that the Rams, they're averaging eight and a half points a game or so, somewhere in that vicinity. The Lions are second worst in the NFL and giving up more than 30 points a game, uh, right in front of the Rams, or I should say behind. The Rams are 30th. Is this a high-scoring football game? This is going to have a baseball score feel to it, 6-3. You think the offenses are that much worse than the defense are worse? I, I just don't think they can generate enough offense. I won't be surprised if 11 or 12 points wins the game. And, <laughs> uh, and I'm not trying to be so okay. They're both trying to rebuild. They're both brand-new head coaches. You look at the bottom of this league and the worst teams. Five of the worst teams have brand-new head coaches. We could get into a long discussion about the volatility in the league, but I like Schwartz and I like Spags. They'll build them the right way, and it's going to be one of those games. I kind of think Detroit at home off a of bye, better situation. And, and they're both defensive coaches, which yes. means that they're going to be focused around getting that. Now, the offense for, for St. Louis has struggled a lot more than it has for Detroit because they put up what, they had 24 at Chicago, yeah. 20 against Pittsburgh. Uh, Detroit has put up some numbers. Matt Stafford is expected to come back mm -hmm. this week after missing a couple of games with a knee injury. What are you expecting from him off a of bye? And I think Stafford will play. He practiced again yesterday, and that's always critical to me. Who's taking the reps on Wednesday when we're putting the first down deep, yeah. first down offense and he was. Here's the problem with, with him now, is that he's not going to have Calvin Johnson. And Calvin Johnson is a guy that, get this, I bet you not a lot of people know this, third and long, third and plus ten in the National Football League, who's the number one team in converting them? The Detroit Lions, 11 to 31. 35% of the time when it's third and long, and you know there are a lot of them, <laughs> they convert them because of Calvin Johnson. Without Calvin Johnson, I'm not sure where this offense can go. That's why I think the score is going to be ridiculously low. All right, well, we'll see how that plays out. You said the Lions are in a better situ better situation, but do the Lions win the football game? I like the Lions to win the game. I really do think they can win this game. They got the home field working for them, and they got St. Louis, who's frustrated, and they are really struggling. I don't know how they're going to stop Steven Jackson, but I think it'll be enough to win. No, they stopped Adrian Peterson. They just couldn't stop Brett Favre. Right. So you got to take your There's poison. There's no Brett Favre. No, it's Mark Bolger and it's Donnie Avery. It's not Brett Favre and Sidney Rice. For more on this game, stay right here with CBSSports.com. It's a 1 p.m. Eastern kick, and maybe it'll be the most watched game of the weekend. Maybe not. Maybe not. Probably not. Stay with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the NFL Preview Show. Presented by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. They better eat their meat. Otherwise, they're not going to have a lot of energy for this one. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks. Good luck, Detroit. Yeah. <laughs>